I don't make many bunk videos. But seriously. I hope the next one isn't about his untimely passing. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? So, Boont Gang has been shot. Yes, Boont Gang has been shot. He's been shot twice, and I believe that in his uh, Instagram comments, he said grazed. So, he shot twice, and he was grazed. First, we need this all start praying for this young man. It is obvious that he is going through some inner turmoils that is causing for him to put himself in precarious situations and just doing foolishness. You see, when this is just my opinion, and I'll get into the crux of the matter, but you see, when you're an individual that you got famous off of doing shenanigans, this it's very hard for you to remove the person who does the shenanigans from the person who you are inside, you know? You know, often we don't really get to know an individual. There are only a few select people really get to know and experience a person for who they are at their core. You know, like we watch a lot of these athletes and celebrities and we might look at them and say, be impressed with their public persona, but their public persona might not be who they are. And we might look at some of them and we might be upset with their public persona, but their public persona might not be who they are. So Boont Gang was in the hospital and this is the first thing that pisses me off. Or should I say I'm disappointed with. That's a better way to put it. He has tons of video and pictures of his gunshot wounds. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to... It, it, Maybe he's trying to gain extra fame off of this. And there's going to be fans of his that's going to say, how is that going to gain him extra fame? That doesn't make sense. All right, so let's just go back real quick and talk about the last about 72 hours of his life. And then I'll explain that point. So he goes on No Jumper with Adam22. Shout out to that program over there. Uh, they doing big things, obviously. So he goes on that program and he stands up and he loses his consciousness, kind of. Kind of falls out. A lot of people made fun of him, talking about how much drugs he's on. The funny thing about this is, or the humorous thing about this is, and it's not funny, haha, -ha, and it's not humorous, like something that's, something that's, you know, not the falling out part, but the whole part about what people are assuming. Even though they might be correct, don't get me wrong. But this guy is going through some kind of emotional issue. And it's obvious. So, after he has the falling out spell and everybody's talking about how high he gets and this and this and that. He goes and he's crying all night. Or at least during the night. And he's crying on, on Instagram. He has a problem. He needs help. He's asking for help. After he's crying on Instagram, he sends out some tweets talking about he's having, you know, personal issues. I'm thinking that it's his demons. We all got demons. Some of us, it's more difficult to handle because we don't have any kind of infrastructure that's built in around us to help us. We don't have any kind of support group. You need people around you to be supportive. It's important. He might not have that. That's a problem that a lot of people who, who come into fame, especially early, and don't have a strong family behind them, run into this issue and problem. So then I hear this morning, after all of this happens, that he's been shot. 
He's in the hospital. He's making sure that they take pictures of his of his gunshot wounds and he's bleeding between his legs. And just so everybody could be know about this, a lot of times people are bleeding between it's because they shot themselves. It's because the idiots reach for the for the for the freaking um for the for the hammer and instead of pulling it out by the handle, put their finger on the damn trigger and end up shooting themselves. Okay? This happens. So he got shot twice and he got grazed once and he's in the hospital and they're trying to take care of him. So now a lot of people are going to say, oh, what did he do to deserve this? See, it's not what you do to someone sometimes. It's just the aura and the energy that you have around you. Does anybody else remember when he was on some other show getting interviewed and he was on the show and he had the, the he pulled the guns out on people? You know, just to let people know he had them. Anybody remember Infinity? I mean, not part of me. The Avengers movie. Just, I just bear with me for a second. Remember the Avengers movie after Loki came to the planet, and uh, Tony Stark's went through the nuke through the black hole and fell back down through the black hole. Remember that. Remember when it was described later in, in, the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that that act let the rest of the universe know that, uh, that, uh, that Earth was prepared for a higher level of war, a higher level of violence, a higher level of, of, of combatants. Well, that's what you do when you run around carrying guns and exp letting everybody know that you have weapons. The assumption is everybody has weapons when you get to a certain level. But when you run around pulling them out unnecessarily, flashing them, pulling them on people, whatever the case might be, that lets people know that you know you're ready to play with them things. So anything's liable to happen. Now, you add that to the fact that Boom at times seemed to be unstable. He seems to be an individual that there's no telling what he's going to do next. A lot of people like that. Oh, man, nobody's going to know what I'm going to do next. You don't want people scared of you. You don't want people not knowing when you're going to snap or if you're going to snap. You don't want this. Now, there's people out there that you won't know when they're going to snap. You don't know if they're going to snap. They, these people exist. But if you're an individual that you don't, you're not about that life. You're not about that. You don't put on a fake facade like you are because then things just happen. Now, I don't know if Boonk is really about, the, about this and really about that. And he keeps talking about he lives a gangster lifestyle. But I'm going to let you know something. And this is not a knock on him. I mean, I think the young man needs help. He needs assistance. Um... I just think he does. I could be wrong, but I think he does. But gangsters don't talk about being gangsters. There's a difference from being a gang member, which I don't know if he is or not. I'm not going to act like I do. But there's a difference between being a gang member and being a gangster. Gangsters don't talk about being gangsters. Gangsters don't even want you to talk about them being gangsters. Gangsters literally move in silence. That's part of being a gangster. Not freaking telegraphing your movements. You can't telegraph what you're going to do, what you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, how you're going to do it, that you're going to do it. It just happens or it don't. Anyway, so let's our prayers go out to this boom dude. Um, that he get everything straight. I think that he's running into a lot of these issues because he's he's fighting with being able to keep and hold on to his fame. I, didn't he try to become a rapper? I haven't really heard any of his songs, so I don't know if he's any good. So hey, only thing he's been doing is pranking. He hasn't figured out how to take that up to another level. And there is another level to take it up to. 
which is not about getting injured, hurt, or anybody else getting injured or hurt. There's another level he could take it up to. I mean, first he'd have to sober up some or not be on, if he might be on some kind of um, anti-psychotic medicines, he might need some, to be honest with you. He might need some kind of anti, anti-psychotic medicine. He needs to be leveled out somehow. I mean, I don't know him, but it seems like he's erratic. It seems like every single time I see him, he's smiling. That's unhealthy. I know people think, oh man, it's good to be smiling. Smiling is great. But no, that's unhealthy. That shows that there's, there's, there's something wrong with you. You shouldn't always be smiling. You shouldn't always be frowning. Life is an endless line of peaks and valleys. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. If you're going to smile when the terrible things are happening to you, that's not a sign of strength. Now, should you be like, oh man, my life is over? No. But you should be able to, 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 to comprehend danger. That man was just shot twice. He's smiling, making jokes about it, putting it on whatever platform he had it on Instagram. He needs help. I don't know if I'm going to be doing many more Boonk videos. I hope I don't have to do a Boonk video talking about his untimely passing. Whether it be him deciding to take his own life. Or whether it be him doing other foolishness. Like wasn't he fighting some dude the other day also? I mean that's literally what this could be about. He was fighting somebody the other day. That's literally what it could be about. You see, for a comedian, there's somebody that's trying to be a comedian, or somebody that's doing funny stuff, it's difficult sometimes because people don't take you seriously. So you do have people come and be disrespectful to you. But it's about how you handle the situation. You can't allow for other people to dictate how you feel. You need to be in control of your emotions. Sometimes it's not going to be easy. But the better grasp an individual gets on being able to, to handle the pressures of being able to not wear their emotions on their sleeves at times, the further you can go. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Um, I, re I really think, I send my prayers go out to him. Um, I'm hoping that he can get himself lined back up, right? You know, he got things that he could do. He got, he got, you know, if he, if he moves away from all of this unnecessary violence, there's no telling who would give him a shot. If he moves away from this brandishing weapons all the time, there's no telling who would give him a shot. Because I'm letting you know right now, if I was a, a bigger platform that had like 2 million, 3 million, 4 million subs in our community. And I had the opportunity to interview this guy. I wouldn't. Because everybody that interviews him right now. Everybody that, ex that that's trying to make money with him right now. Is in reality. Feeding his demons. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.